Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about Microsoft acquiring GitHub, sort of what my thoughts on it are and what I'm kind of expecting to come of it. I don't know if you guys heard, but Dev Mountain, our sponsor for this video, has now made their Quality Assurance Bootcamp online. It's not the only one that's online. They also have their iOS development, their software, software Q&A, and their traditional web development. But if you want to be there in person, you can in after hour programs, as well as uh, complete immersive boot camp, which they provide housing so you can get up and go today. Check them out at devmountain.com. Hey guys, I thought we'd do something a little bit different today. Uh, so we're outside taking a walk, but I want to talk about uh, GitHub being bought by Microsoft. There's this very uh, strange, the sky is falling, falling, like, you know, things are out of control because, you know, Microsoft's jumping in to uh, GitHub and it's going to, you know, revolutionize where everybody are going. And to be honest, people kind of are panicking. GitLab, which has been kind of the competitor to GitHub for quite some time, has seen since the, you know, the rumors and the announcement that uh, 10 times their normal amount <laughs> of uh, repos have opened up there. Um, I would say, <clears throat> I would say that um, GitHub, uh, and GitHub being owned by Microsoft is pretty much one reason. Um, you know, Microsoft wants, a lot of good can happen, but I think Microsoft, it really has been making a push to be in the developer community, uh, along with their, you know, their software and everything else. And they have a lot of great open source projects. I just went on their website uh, before I was walking here, and they have something like 373 open source projects. And some of those are ones that we use all the time here, right? You know, VS Code, for instance, is an awesome open source project that, you know, how many of us are using um, text editor, their text editor? How many of us are using TypeScript that's maintained by Microsoft? And, um, you know, and I don't want you to think I'm some Microsoft shill or anything like that. I think that, uh, you know, if, if this was the Microsoft of old, um, you know, maybe 10, 15 years ago where, yo know, man, like, they, you would, you should, you should be worried, right? You should have concern. But, um, I'm trying to think that there might be a lot of positives, right? Like what happens if they just make Git open source? Like truly, 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 just make GitHub rather, GitHub open source. And and they, they take what's there and they let people create their own mini GitHubs. There. And, and a lot of cool stuff can happen. And now that the, you know, a lot of new features can come to GitHub. And now let's take that idea one step further and go and say, okay, well, what happens next? What happens next? Well, they're probably buying it to integrate it with their cloud services. And now you have a faster deployment uh, process. Think about all the good that can happen if, you know, a lot of us, myself included, even working as a dev, we're not exposed to a ton of DevOps. We're not exposed to a ton of deployment. It's, it's one of those, uh, it's one part of the industry that sort of, still being developed in the sense that it's a it's a growing part but more so in terms of of a uh it's not something you work with every day part of it is most of deployments actually cost a lot of money so what happens if we now take github which will be microsoft's you know repository at this point and we say let's sync it up with microsoft products that we're already using because a good portion of of just development companies use Azure. It's pretty much Azure or AWS. And then from there, we now get exposed to a lot more, a lot more different software and in the DevOps. But more than anything else, I would say that you shouldn't worry necessary, necessarily about GitHub and, and um, I know a lot of people, so I saw some, some posts on Reddit about, you know, get ready for monetization and uh a buggy site uh which is a fair assessment on in all honesty but i think i think also you might want to consider like what if that doesn't happen because all we're talking about is it's very once once uh, microsoft no longer has public repos on github and i don't think this is going to happen by any stretch of the means but this is this is the argument 
that 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 isn't you know right now you can buy private repos on github for like seven dollars a month it's cheap as shit um but once they take away the private repos people are just gonna go elsewhere and that's why they're not going to do it because microsoft has been making a consistent effort to have open source and to be developer friendly and to be developer friendly means that you are in fact um open source that's really it at the end of the day and that's why typescript is doing so well and you, you've seen you know from previous like hacker ranks and you know stack overflow the growth in, in typescript and you know pretty much every dev i know for the most part i would say nine out of ten front end devs at the very least are using vs code um and that that's a great success in that aspect um so i i would say don't sort of panic about having to move your code off GitHub. And also, there, there is some sort of, and this could change by any stretch of imagination, but um, when people ask for your portfolio, they don't necessarily ask for your, your Git repositories, they ask for your GitHub. And so I think there's some sort of, there's a little bit of fun with it there, where it's part of the, the, um, part of the dev culture a little bit that github is the place to store your repositories that's not going to say that that gitlab isn't going to take over or anything like that but i don't see a mass migration even if they're gitlab's gitlab's getting 10 to the current 10 times their normal amount right now mainly that's just people panicking and and uh making noise and you know all the people on reddit who are getting hyped up so uh I would say um, keep it all in perspective. I think it's um, I think it's a, a f exciting thing to be announced, and I'm more hopeful of good things to come than bad things to come. Because I'd like to see, I would like to see, you know, we're handling our repos. How can we now have? Can we get different environments for our code, and you know, be able to deploy easier and be ex be exposed to more items? Right. That's what I'm hoping is going to happen, and until. Until I start seeing, you know, item, items, uh, and again, you could make this argument that, you know, Microsoft has had this, this past and this trajectory of, hey, we're going to just, um, you know, sort of take this, we're going to buy it, we're going to leave it alone, and then we're going to let it slowly decay while we monetize it. That's a fair argument, but I would say in more recent times, as Microsoft has moved to a more open source I don't open source community, and I think that's exactly what will happen with uh, with GitHub. Is that which is kind of strange, right? Hey, we bought something for seven point five billion. Oh yeah, what are you gonna do with it? We're giving it away for free. We're gonna let people work on it for us for free, but we're giving it away. But when you're Microsoft, you got that. I mean, you got the money to do that, right? So uh, <laughs> there is that option. But I do think that's probably what's gonna happen. Is you know, GitHub itself may become open source or at least aspects of it, you know, the tools that GitHub is going to be working on. And, you know, from from a, a standpoint of, there's there's really, you know, when you have a company like Microsoft behind you, you can do anything. So any projects that maybe GitHub, which wasn't pr making any profit, by the way, um, <laughs> any project, they, they probably made a nice bit of profit when they sold the thing, but, um, you know, they weren't making any revenue. Um, but any side projects to say, hey, wouldn't it be great if we could build this tool? Wouldn't it be great if we could build this extension? We could add this feature. We could do this, this, and that. You know, all that stuff is now a reality. All those items is now, it's now a possibility that, because you have a, you know, a powerhouse that can cut the check really at the end of the day. And that's why um, TypeScript is doing so well. And that's why uh, languages like Go, which is, you know, Google's baby, is doing well because they have these powerhouses that are behind them. And it's going to be very interesting to see if Microsoft gives it the love and attention that it's going to. Because at the end of the day, what, they re what they've really bought is sort of a piece of the de developer community. And uh, if they integrate it properly and they continue to let it grow and they put the resources in it and i, I think they are going to do all these things mainly just because their recent actions you know have, have proven that i think they sort of learned from their their mistakes of the past and we'll see how much you know git 
GitHub may be something that isn't even recognizable in a good way in about five years. It could be something where like, look, man, we're now going from just like repos to, you know, we we will become the LinkedIn of developers. And now we have not only the repo aspect, but we're going to, you know, personalize your you know, d developer resume to such a degree that that's where you get looked at. And it's just small things like that that slowly get incremented. I'm more so ex excited for the potential that we're gonna have integration into uh, maybe um, deployments and, um, you know, different environments for our code and maybe making that a little bit more uh, open source and free to like a community edition and that, that it's easily sync, sync, easily syncs up with your, your GitHub repos. I think that would be really cool and I think that would uh, potentially happen. But um, that's sort of my thoughts on it. I know uh, a lot of devs are running around saying the sky is falling. I don't think it's falling. <laughs> I think um, I think we're all uh, gonna be pleasantly surprised by it. But, you know, I understand the sentiment as always guys. Um, and let me know if you like me taking these little walk videos instead of just doing the green screen. I had a couple people request it instead it's bright out here today <laughs> uh but um yeah thank thanks for watching the video don't forget to comment like subscribe share support me on patreon uh hit that notification bell that's the thing i'll see you guys later bye so we have the return of david basil it's been a minute since i've seen your negativity david but i appreciate you watching the channel all the same so uh dylan i rarely comment on videos but i was wondering if i'm currently studying to be a full stack Merne dev should i be worried about the shortage on express jobs so uh, you typically aren't going to get hired for Express. That doesn't mean it's not a useful skill to have, but the, the more important part of that is going to be the Node, the JavaScript, and, of course, the React aspect. As you can see, that the you know that, that R in Mern, right? Uh, we saw that there is basically twice the amount of jobs that there are qualified devs for in React, and that's what's going to carry you through, right? So keep that in mind it's a spectrum of things now if you were fully diving balls deep into the express like this is it man express or nothing you might have an issue but um be willing to you know understand that that's just one part of the pie and it's a little oversaturated right now but also part of that is other other things like feather js and um there's other items that are similar to express that have been popping up and express as a as sort of a framework for node is slowly being phased out well, that doesn't mean it's still not good or important, but it's going to be the other things that are going to be that are going to be valuable in the Mern and Mean Stack. I want to thank our sponsor, TemplateMonster.com. Not only can you buy templates, PowerPoints, resumes, anything that you can think of, portfolio sites, you can also sell yours on their platform and earn a nice side income. There's a link in the description below to check them out at TemplateMonster.com.